This is just a really sad ending to the search and rescue operation for the Titanic sub. The U.S. Coast Guard said that it appeared that there had been a catastrophic implosion that led to the deaths of those five men on board. The men would have been killed instantly. It's not clear how far down in the depths they were when this implosion occurred, but the water pressure uh, down by the seabed uh, is around 4,000 tonnes per square metre, so there's no way anyone could survive an implosion that, that depth. The news came after five pieces of debris were found, uh, I think some 500 metres from the wreckage of the Titanic, and it was confirmed that the debris included parts of the pressure chamber of the Ocean Gate vessel. Well, the company released a statement paying tribute to those on board the sub. British billionaire and adventurer Hamish Harding, French diver and oceanographer uh, Paul-Henri Narjolet, known to his friends as P.H., the CEO and founder of Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush, and uh, British-Pakistani businessman Shazada Dawood and his his son Suleiman. The father and son were doing this dive on Father's Day. It's just so tragic. Uh, Ocean Gate described the men as true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure uh, and a deep passion for exploring uh, and protecting the world's oceans. You can only imagine what an awful time this is now for all of their families. I suppose the only solace is that this death would have been uh, instant. Uh, but uh, all five of these men must at this point be dead. Uh, we still have a lot of questions about what happened. And of course, there'll be also many questions about how to stop it from happening again. The eyes of the world were on the rescue operation. Once again, the magnetic pull of the Titanic drew the attention of the world.